Scott Yarn. How's everybody doing? It's, what's today, Tuesday? I'm taking Tim to a dentist appointment. He's gonna have some pretty pearly whites when he gets home. because it's either see the yarn or just take the whole video down. So I put music in. I'm limited to the type of music. I, I, I haven't figured out how to get some decent music. The app I have doesn't have the greatest tunes. And then the one on YouTube, for some reason, I can't line it up where I want the music to start. It's like a guesstimate. It, I haven't figured out how to maneuver that, that, so, but, it's, I'm just a work in progress when it comes to videography. So, I just wish they'd turn their music down. <coughs> but yeah, I was so excited I was gonna have videos up before eight o'clock at night. I see this big red e demonetized. So and then I tried to change the music and I don't know. It just YouTube when you upload their music, it takes two hours. Who has time for that? So so that's what you got for my trip. But those those stores were nice. The the Michaels was the nicest Michael Michaels I've ever been in. It, I mean, not the neatest or newest, just the the stock of yarn was really nice. Oh, I got it to work out. What did I do different? I don't know. It worked out. Yay! I should have had this cardigan probably done, but I've been jumping around different projects. I'm trying to finish that. Uh, my husband's cousin's Afghan. We're making it for his aunt. And she's giving it as a gift to the cousin. Uh, it's getting there. I thought I was done. Surprisingly not. I have to make it six foot five. <laughs> but I, I worked on it last night and I'll work on it again some more today. But I'm gonna sit out in the car while my husband's in the doctor's office having, we're going to an oral surgeon. And I'm gonna sit out in the car and crochet and watch YouTube videos. Speaking of which, I need to plug in, plug this in so I have, there, so it charges.
Well, we're here at the oral surgeon. Boy, my husband's cranky today. He's argumentative. <laughs> you have a whole parking lot. He's going in to see how long it's gonna take. And if it's gonna be a couple hours, I'm gonna go, you know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out Michael's. My Michael's, here he comes. I'll be right back. He's only gonna be 45 minutes. I don't believe that. Tensions off. They got landscapers out here in front of the doctor's office. It's that time of year everybody's going to start planting pretty flowers. Yeah, my, my flower beds are weed beds. <laughs> They're sad. They got that much left. go a little bit tighter further down the line. Usually I'll do the first two squares. I have to frog a couple times and then after that I kind of have it down pat. This is a new skein. Every skein is a little different. I have, this is like the sixth skein I've worked on since they came out with this once I'm done with this cardigan, I am going to the rest of the other skeins. I have like, mm, I probably have like nine or 10. I want to just, just whip up all the squares and then figure out what I'm going to do with them. They may turn into boggy blankets. I'm not too sure. But um, there's something that I want to do. I had another podcaster had inspired me. Um, it's crocheting, but it's crocheting with material and yarn together. Um, she inspired me. She made a cardigan and like she would start out with yarn and then in a granny square and then the next couple rows she would she cut material into like real thin strips and then held I think she held yarn with it but then she'd do like two rounds with the material and then the next round would be yarn but it was the cardigan was absolutely gorgeous if I can maybe I can screenshot the cardigan and you guys can see but she's really inspired me now she buys her 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 strips of material from a company if I can find the company I'll be able to do it and I'll share it with you but I went on the site because I wanted to buy the yarn that she was using it's gorgeous she's the one that's inspired me these crazy bright colors I've seen a couple of her cardigans she does beautiful work and um, oh my gosh it was like ridiculously expensive yeah I mean ultimately I could afford it but I'm I'm about value you know um, but yeah I'll share that the company is I don't know they have bougie yarn but I think I don't know maybe it's a brand like like maybe like it's a real popular brand I'm just new in the the bougie yarn community I don't know what's fancy yarn and what's not you know kind of like purses juicy couture not juicy couture Gucci or Michael Kors you know maybe that's kind of what that yarn is I don't know um, but I'll share the name but it's like you know like Miss Babs I think she's kind of a high-end yarn so It just, it was so pretty. Her cardigan was so pretty. And also, um, 
she's knitting interlock and I was talking to um, Angela over at My Precious Yarnery. She knows how to crochet, uh, knit and crochet. I mean, she, we know she crochets, but she also knows how to knit. And um, she told me she's, you know, she, she said my knitting skills. She said I could do do the interlock. She said she would show me how to do it. I would love to make a cardigan out of interlock knitting. Yeah. I know I'm really slow at it, but with these big bulky yarn, it shouldn't take too too long, you know? So, but that's kind of what's rolling around in my head. You guys have probably been wondering about these wild colors I've been wanting to, to use, but she has inspired me. Yep, I gotta change my color because I'm cutting the white. I don't like the color of the white on these skeins. This one is pretty good. It's really white, but a lot of them are blue. They have a blue tint, but this one's actually a good one. No two skeins alike. I also brought some Juicy Couture. <laughs> to work on some headbands. I really enjoy um, making those little scrunchies. They're not headbands, they're scrunchies. But I ought to try to make a headband with like, in, in the back, use a rubber band. And then I can just single crochet over the rubber band and hide it, and so it'll be stretchy. So it'll fit different sizes. That's an idea. We need to think of a pattern. I guess I could just do any old stitch pattern because you can't see it with the, the velvet, you know? Looking for scissors. But yeah, maybe that's what I'll do while I'm waiting the next 45 minutes. Change it up a little bit. Look at how long that that first row. It, normally it's about here. You do you start your magic circle, but this one was really long. Now I gotta find the great, oh here. This is the yarn I'm using. I caked it up. I was sitting on the couch with the dogs last night and somebody's toe got caught in my yarn <laughs> and took it all over the house. Yeah, I'm gonna do that that little knot I do that MJ off the hook taught me. It almost looks white, but it's actually it's a gray. It's a Hobby Lobby um, recycled yarn. Uh oh, what happened? Oh no, I can't lose. I can't cut this. I've never had this happen. It didn't. My knot didn't work right. Interesting. Darn it. There, it came apart. I was worried I was going to have to cut some of that blue yarn. I don't, I don't want to cut the blue yarn. It's, it's not working because I have the camera on. <laughs> That's the only reason. It's the second time I've done that. Why is it doing that? What am I doing wrong, y'all? Usually I do it first try. Interesting. Okay, here we go. There we go. Beautiful. Maybe I forgot to wrap it the third time. I was doing something wrong. Anyways, getting back to 
talking about these squares, but I'm gonna make up, I'm gonna do a bunch of squares. I wanna see how many squares I can do in a day. I'm not a real fast crocheter. Um, my problem is, um, but I'm not slow either. My problem is I get a lot of interruptions distracted easily even the TV is distracting to me sometimes I did the um, the back waist ribbing waistband. <laughs> I can't find it. My dog room slash yarn room is a hot mess. I um I have plenty of cubbies in room. I just have to kind of organ. I'm a little unorganized right now. I don't know. Well, it's because I shop a lot for yarn, but. Um, I've been just throwing things in certain cubbies and some cubbies, you know, they have plenty of room and I need to put more in the cubby so I can make some room for my new yarn. chainsaw <laughs> those um what do they call them they're like a they're not a sago palm but they're like a palm tree i can't remember what they call them but some people will cut them down and eat the heart out of the tree it's like a um, cabbage palm and people eat they cook it and eat it i'm like you kill a whole tree to eat a meal. <laughs> but there was a lady that she used to eat it. I mean, I guess it's like cabbage. If you like cabbage, you know? I mean, why else would they call it a cabbage palm, maybe? <laughs> so, after this, I'll try a couple more of these. Let's see how many I can get done until he gets out of his appointment. I probably won't do the vid this video the whole time. But I'm just gonna make this like a vlog. Today's vlog. Nancy's boring life. This shirt I'm wearing I got from Gatlinburg. It was, it's a bear claw. I love this shirt because it's big. I love big, comfy clothes. They're butchering those palm trees. What you're supposed to do, those things that grow out, I've seen them with, there's a tool and you just scrape the tree or you scrape down on the tree and it makes the trunk real smooth. Oh, they even pulled one out of the ground. Wow, those plants are expensive. Well, I'm sure they know what they're doing. They're a landscape company, I think. 
I don't see the truck around. They're, they're digging up irrigation too, it looks like. Pipes. But yeah, I love this time of year because there's so many, everything's blooming. My azaleas bloomed while I was out of town. When I came home, I got maybe one day of them. They were, they turned brown because of the weather. But, yeah, I, this is it. It is in my front yard. I planted uh, like a couple days before Joey's wedding. My son had his wedding reception in my backyard. He took down the back fence to my pool because my back patio was like a stage for the DJ. And they put like glowing things floating in the pool. But anyways, it looked beautiful. He had a huge tent. It turned out wonderful. It saved them a lot of money to have the reception up in my backyard. And, you know, it was just as nice as if you rented some fancy barn, you know. We rented this huge, huge tent. Well, I'm done with this. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute. I'm going to dig around in my bag and see what, what I'm going to do next. I thought I brought my darning needles. Oh, I did. I did. I did. I had one in my compartment in my purse, but I put it back. I found um, one of my original wool needles that I had lost in the bottom of one of my suitcases. So. Yeah, I'm going to weave in my ends. Because with these granny squares, you have a ton of ends. It's 11.30. These, th this oral surgeon, they're really good. The, um, the whole process of implants, it's just time consuming. It, it almost takes a year to let everything heal. So, but he'll be done after today. And he'll have all of, um, his, what do they call them, Embut embutments, the actual porcelain, the new twofers. <laughs> I'm excited for him. Well, actually, when we leave here, this is, this is the oral surgeon. When we leave here, we're going to Dr. Townsend's office. Dr. Townsend actually was my husband's best friend. They used to be they used to rent a house together. Um, he's a dentist now. What's funny is he flunked out of pharmacy school and ended up being a dentist. He said pharmacy was really difficult. I guess it's not for everybody. Oh, the Zoom girls are already Zooming. I haven't been in Zoom in a long time. It's because I'm sleeping when they're in Zoom. My sleep pattern's all messed up. And I'm sure you guys see that when you see me in the middle of the night posting videos. I'm like wide awake at 2 o'clock in the morning. I forgot to sew in the center. Center. I noticed last night a bag a day hasn't posted a video in four days. It's 
I think she's having company. I heard she was having company. When I was like, I saw four days on her last video. I'm like, that's not like her. But then um, I watched the video and noticed she had company. I'm gonna do one more swoop. I guess it's lunch time. What I'm gonna do is work on a, a headband. What color? Like an Easter headband for Kirkland. I have this is pretty. I'm gonna do this. I wonder what color her dress is. She's got an Easter dress, I'm sure. Uh oh, this is attached to something. I just felt stitches come undone. Yeah, it's attached to this. Uh, okay, we can't use that one. I probably should finish that one. All right, let me get my number. I've been using an H hook, number five, with all my scrunchies. And that's not a number five. Oh no. My number five hook. I'm gonna have one in here. Yep, it's right here. Y'all, I just realized I think I left a pair of my Hey Dudes in Tennessee. I'm missing my camo Hey Dudes. I have a pair that's a little too big for me, but um, my favorite pair that fit me perfect cannot find them anywhere. And the last time I saw them, I wore them in Tennessee. That stinks. But I did get a new pair while I was in Orlando. They're kind of like an alligator, like an alligator pattern. I don't know. This isn't really a leopard. It may be a leopard pattern. It's not really a leopard pattern. in that Hey Dude store. The, scrunch, the rubber band I'm using is the one that has the black ball. And it doesn't want to go over some of these lumpy bumpies in it. I wanted to mention, I know the music wasn't pleasant in my last video, but I used to, um, a feature where, you know how when I move the camera and it makes everybody dizzy, there was this thing that you could go in special effects and make it slow motion, but it kind of like, it's a smooth moving slow motion. Um, and then every now and then it'll speed up but I don't know. I kind of like the way it it worked out. It was so you could see everything that I was looking at. 
and I didn't have to hold a camera the whole time. It was nice. Whoa. This um, medical park that we're in, it's full of dentists. My ortho, the kid's orthodontist is in here. Used to be. Tyler, he wore braces and he doesn't have a retainer. I told him, I said, all that money, you had to have braces. He'll probably end up getting them back on when he's older, like I, like me. I've worn them twice, but it wasn't my fault. It was the dent, the or and the orthodontist, because I had changed orthodontist because I moved from South Florida and um, I hadn't had a wire in my brackets for like six months, and. Um, so when he took my, he went ahead and took my braces off. He didn't think I needed a retainer. Uh-oh, here he comes. Hold on. All right, I gotta go. I gotta withdraw some money. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I gotta go to the bank and withdraw some money from our savings. So this guy's got me blocked in here. able to go to the yarn store but guess not I'm t I'm on the other side of town I'm on the north side of town in the Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joanne's on uh, the south side of town like two exits on the interstate up and I'm not anywhere near the interstate oh come on people drive 20 miles an hour and it's 45 mile an hour zone. And you go from one red light to another red light. <laughs>
Good girl. Oh, there's construction up here. I'm not going this way. I'll be back. <laughs> Y'all. Okay. I got my license and the ticket. Thank you. I'm withdrawing from my savings. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. <laughs> really? I can't hear you. Your mic's up. everyone well the patient's home and he's resting <laughs> whenever you get oral surgery they snap those permanent teeth in and then his uppers you don't you don't necessarily need implants for the uppers but anyways he had some extractions well they put the new teeth in after the extractions he's going to be probably hurting tomorrow i don't know I know I that. that well, I had two surgeries. I had bone I implant, and then I had the Im the post post implant, and that it was painful gosh. both times. So his whole upper mouth. After we burned the chair, nothing strange happened. He was again. a little cranky this morning too. So I'm staying in my yarn room. Not with the baby or the. Not that I don't stay in here anyways most of the time. Even the dogs are all in here. <laughs> Anyways, <sighs> I apologize. Um, I'm going to do another video. I have a couple, couple things that um, I got in the mail I want to share with you. And one thing that, um, that I got, it really surprised me when I saw it and I purchased it. And uh, I'll, I'll do that in the next video. I don't want to ruin it. So, all right, I'm going to get off of here. I love you all, and I'll see y'all later. Hopefully, we'll do a, um, a, uh, a yarn wrapping or bagging, yarn bagging. So, I just got finished watching Juan's live. You guys, I am so far behind on videos. I missed his Sunday live. That's how far behind I am. Right, guys, I love y'all. Guys, real quick before I forget, um, I have mentioned a channel that has inspired me <laughs> with all this wild colored stuff. But anyways, I've got some pictures. I screenshotted some of the yarn and the name of the yarn company. But this yarn that I want is like $40 a skein. I just, I don't think I'm that good of a knitter to spend that kind of money just yet. So, I can't justify it yet so but by the time I, I don't know anyways i'm going to share that with you it's yoki b crochet and knitting she's adorable you might want to check her channel out 